Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful weekend, a very busy day today. So we're going to go ahead and end the series. It's the natural makeup series. We did really six of them. And it's ending tonight with Cleopatra. I'm going to go ahead and show you the look. Um, let me know how your day is. I won't have the most energy today. But I promise y'all we're going to do it. Hang out with me. Let me know if you get hashtag replay if you're watching. There's a couple of keywords in there. If this is your first time watching, give me a new kid in the comments. If you are interested in finding out any of these makeup looks that we can do or recreate for Halloween or just every day, you can say steals. And that is going to have our October anniversary speckled steal information. 20% off you get to pick. And then... If you're interested in receiving my text notifications, you can text CACTUS to 706-916-5788. This is going to go and give you updates. You can either choose to be notified when I go live or have any specials. And also, our Black Friday is coming up. So, that starts this Tuesday. And it goes all the way through December, beginning of December. Ten bundles. Some of them will be surprise bundles and only be for like 24 hours so you want to make sure that you get notified of that my wig just hit the camera that was some serious wig action there very aggressive um oh she's pretty too um i wanted to hop on here for it got too late we took the kids to uh, well i took the kids to uh do some trunk or treat stuff and some fall festival stuff so thank you to the locals who gave me some details about where to take them because monday we're going to six flags so we won't get to do it when everybody else does hopefully that will be a nice cleopatra look what do y'all think and then we're going to have this little um what's this called it's like a headdress sort of a headpiece i'm just going to go over the top i'm hoping it will look very egyptian i know i'm not 100% ethnically accurate so don't come for me you're just recreating this look all right so I want to show you the um, inspiration picture I love this I honestly thought this was Kim Kardashian at first and if it is I'm sorry Kim but I didn't know for sure but I just love this look it's beautiful with the green I hope I can get it quite that just nicely done oh so pretty and then we'll do um, eyeliner for this look right here, a little bit of some gold. Hopefully this won't take too long because it's, I mean, it's not overly, overly detailed. And then some very shimmery lips to complete the look. So, fingers crossed. Um, if you guys have any questions about how I recreated this, even after the video has been live, you can send me a message and I can give you details on how to recreate that. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me know how your day is going. Don't forget to drop me a cactus if you speckled this video out. Anybody that speckles this video out, or S-H-A-R-E-B, it's, it's Facebook doesn't like that for some reason. Um, you can go ahead and let me know. Just put a little cactus emoji down in the comments. And then you do that. Basically, what that's telling me is that you want to be entered into the giveaway all the entries for the giveaway um and for this week tonight so make sure you hit that button so that i can see it make sure it is public for the shared settings and i can um make sure to have you in when i call out the name for our goodie giveaway gift basket um all right so if you like giveaways if you like to um, get tutorials or even just exclusive new products but you're not obligated to buy make sure that you save VIP to get into the Black Friday group or you can just be notified by that um, text I have a couple different ways I'm reaching out to people this year it will first be notifications will be on text you're going to get a post in the VIP group. You'll get a personalized chat. And then there's also the option of getting an email or just um, when everybody else gets it. So it's first come, first serve. All right. Let's go ahead and start. Well, I, uh, I put on this BB Flawless, which is just a very moisturizing, lightweight, light coverage foundation. 
I'm going to go ahead and um, start on the eyebrows. I feel like that's a good place to start. And we're just going to kind of use natural, all natural makeup for those who are just coming on here. Not sure. Most of it's going to be through Unique. We're not using latex. We're not using something that would typically aggravate this skin, if that makes any sense. So, eyeliners are okay. All of that kind of good stuff. Um, I feel like this is like a really pretty look. So, hopefully I can recreate it. Um, let's, see. let's do dark brown. This is, honestly, I think I'm going to darken up this um, eyebrows a little bit. So I am going to add a little bit of black eyeliner in with that since Cleopatra has black hair. I mean, it would only make sense, right? And so let's start with a dark brown. It's, you can get them in black, but I don't have any uh, for a brow pencil. Just say hey when you're hopping on so I know you're on to say hey. Um, it also will let me know if my comments are working. Let's see. Okay, there we go. So what we're just going to do is we're going to start off with the brows. Cleopatra doesn't have, like in this look anyways, doesn't have overly stressful brows to have to recreate. So we're just going to kind of follow our natural ebb and flow of what we have. And I'm going to show you guys how you can kind of create the brows that you want. It was just really, really easy. And you just got to kind of look at the structure of your face. So, diving right in. Hello. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend or at least starting on it. Um, my daughter was a little nervous about when we were about to go collect candy. She's like, I've heard through the D.A.R.E. program that they were having at our school that people put drugs lately into candy and stuff and it's like bad and you have to check it and I was like that's always been a thing like no matter how long you know trick-or-treating or whatever has lasted I said I remember when we were kids and let me know if this happened to you or if you had that opportunity but when we were kids we lived in a suburb in Texas and we would walk out and it would be dark by the time we would start walking because I think we were like two hours ahead or something compared to where we're at now so it doesn't hardly get as dark when we go trick-or-treating here and um all right so we're gonna follow under the brow and I'll finish the story in just a second but you're just gonna follow under your natural brow first and do light strokes okay go to the top but we don't want to start at the very top we want to start kind of like 25 percent from the beginning, I guess is I don't know how to properly say that, but just not right at the beginning. And you're gonna find out where you want your arch to be. Just make sure you kind of start slowly filling that in. And you're gonna close off the tail. Now, if you do a really long tail, it's gonna kind of drag the eyes down, so keep that in mind. And you're just gonna use small strokes to kind of fill it in. This is a super buttery, like pencil type um, applicator, so it's really easy to do. Next, because of the way it's shaped, you're just going to take the eyeliner and go, I mean, not eyeliner, brow liner, and go up and down. And what that does, and it's just very light, is it simulates like having little hairs. And it just gives you a little bit more of a natural end look. It's got this little brush on the end, or you can use a spoolie. And you're just going to lightly just brush up because that's what direction your brow hairs are and through the brow just to kind of blend in any of those patchy areas. Fill in if you see any more pop up just with small little strokes, but keep the majority of like your markings and the darkness that you're using the pressure to the outside of the brow. Okay, you can always go back in and clean up with some concealer if you get messy or go overboard. So... If you mess up on your brows, don't stress out. You can go back and clean it up. Okay, so this is just where we're starting. This is typically how I would do my brows. I am going to go in and fill in with a little bit of a darker pencil. Perfect. This is the uh, Midstruck Pencil Eyeliner that I used yesterday. Number one, this is smudge proof after it sets. Waterproof transfer resistant so it's really cool because now I can darken my eyebrows a little bit after I kind of got the shape that I wanted and it's also going to stay a lot longer than a typical just softer brow pencil and you use the end of this and we're just going to soften that up 
So nothing too difficult. We're not doing any kind of like special techniques. Just simply filling in brows, darkening them up with an eyeliner. Not so bad, right? So back to my story about trick-or-treating. Um, see, I just messed up right there. When we would go, my mom would follow along. We would go to several can I mean, places and have just loads of candy in little sacks or whatever. And then in our pumpkin buckets or with our flashlights because it was so dark. And then we would go and go sit at the dining room table dump everything out together and look through all the pieces i'm not even kidding and it took forever because we couldn't have any until we finished looking through it so back then i don't know if people do it now let me know if you're one of those people that do this we didn't get full-size candy bars okay we got snack size everything and we got a lot of jujubes and uh different what are those called dots I hate dots all of it's like plastic to me i hate those we get mary jane's little bit of honey i don't feel like those are as like common now but we would get that kind of stuff but those were not my favorite my favorites were anything chocolate starburst skittles m m's that good old stuff okay reese's um so let me show you how i'm gonna clean up these brows you see how ferocious they are right and how like almost a unibrow i do that because i just kind of spread it out a little bit i'm gonna take our concealer if you want to skip this part if you're already good at just lining your brows or don't need to clean up then you got this but i'm just gonna get a flat brush and clean up and show you how to clean up if you go crazy on your brows and just realize you don't have to scrub the whole thing all over again so you're just gonna take a flat brush apply your concealer preferably the same color as you would your foundation so that way it's not a different shade is what your foundation is and you're recoloring your whole face all over again and just go upwards with that flat brush over the top you'll notice your eyebrows are not at the same level one's always like higher than the other so just kind of slowly go over the top until you feel like they're like on the same level no matter how that looks you're just gonna have to eyeball it and see what works best for you and I just kind of clean up over the top to kind of smooth over any harsh areas. You still don't look like drawn, drawn in, you know? Because of how dark this is, it's going to clearly look pretty strong. So keep that in mind. But I'm just going up and down to at the edges just to kind of clean that part up. Dipping in at my little brush. Onto my doe foot applicator. And I'm going to lightly... Just follow under where I want my brow line to be. Clean up this area so there's not stray hairs or smudges there. And then just blend in really good. You don't want to use a lot so that way you don't have to cover your whole eyelid. So just a little bit goes a long way. Such good concealer. But yeah, so we spent so long having to go through candy before we could actually have it. And so I told Maddie, I was like, well, we're going to like a trunk or treat at a local church and we're going to a business that's having an event so i don't really think we have to worry too much like yeah still check your candy and all that if you want to but like it's not like we're going to bunches of like strangers house in the dark in some suspect neighborhood that we're not even really sure you know what i'm saying like it's a little different so she felt reassured with that it just took a long time because she had a wardrobe malfunction with her costume. She wanted to do everything herself with this costume and did an amazing job. Don't get me wrong. Like, it was fantastic. I'm so proud of her. And I'm proud of all the work that her and her dad put into this. However, some things are just falling apart after she was walking on them. I don't know if it was because of how she was walking on it or it was just how it ended up. But we just kept having issues with it. So it took us longer than we expected. And I had to have a plan B ready, so I just didn't. Literally fall apart when her costume did. Okay? Don't ask me why, but that's just a part of parenting that can be a little much for me sometimes. Having to figure out when everything goes wrong, like, what do, what do we need to do so my daughter is not panicking after she put all of this work in? Okay, I'm going to round out just a little bit the outer part of this brow just because it looks like on this picture hers are kind of rounded out a little bit it's okay not a big deal we'll just go back in with the 
leftover of what's on the brush. Or you could use a beauty bud. Clean up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? I am so thankful because doing this makeup business has kind of taught me how to like adapt to stuff. Not get too stressed about it. So that's a good thing. Okay. Alrighty. Next thing, I'm going to work on the eyes. Okay. Before I get hardcore into the foundation. I just feel like that's only, that only makes sense. Okay. So we're going to take, um, eye brush curler eyelash curler that's the word and we're gonna stick it right here and kind of do that whole half moon looking thing again that I showed y'all so I'm gonna show you that if you missed out on it let's use a little bit of some mood struck eye primer this is gonna help give us a base to stick all of our nice vibrant green and golds to let me know did you guys do any of those similar um traditions for Halloween did you celebrate it or did y'all do something different this year's different for us because we're used to passing out candy we had a very active neighborhood where we used to be at the last 14 15 years um where we used to live and so we would always pass out candy and do stuff with our church um to kind of be as a ministry for that well now that our, we're in a neighborhood that's not really active like that we thought we would switch the roles and let the kids be able to because they always kind of caught the tail into everything in it you know they still got candy but they just didn't get to participate when everybody else was and uh, so we i was like i'm going to take them to a couple places then we're going to go to six flags for their little fright fest thing it's just something different that we're trying to do um so let me know what you guys would do is it stressful for you? Is it not? How does that work? All right, we're going to go ahead and get palette number eight. Again, good old faithful. <laughs> and I think that we're going to use, obviously, amazing, maybe a little bit of this jovial, and then definitely, most definitely, probably this gold, and then we may even put a little bit of glitter over the top. We'll just see how it looks as we're going, okay? So fluffy brush let's go ahead and get her ready she helps us with all the good stuff I'm gonna get a little bit of this amazing green this palette is a part of the steals when you put in that um, key keyword that's a part of the steals that's on 20% off if you want to check it out or see what other palettes that we have you can choose from all right, so just back and forth. I'm going to go ahead and start building up that green. I'm going to put it up a little bit higher up because of my crease. And if you don't want to use this, that's fine. But this just kind of is a nice way to create a little bit of a guiding point for where you want your eyeshadow to go and you just keep following that curve and it'll give you like that nice area I'll show you also what we're going to use to prevent fallout today so we don't have to do a bunch of cleaning up maybe just a little bit so just building up that green starting to create like a little area there and this to me is a great way to kind of shield off from it all falling on your bottom of your lid here or right in the center of your lid rather it's just kind of giving you a nice cut crease we may still have to go in with some concealer for that gold, but we'll find out in just a minute after we've kind of inspected our work there. All right, let's work on the other side and we'll build that up slowly, but surely. Kind of soften that little area up. I'm really just impressed. Like this was a good hack. You know how sometimes you go through hacks on, I don't know, maybe not everybody does this, but I do. I look and just see what's different, what's trending, things like that. 
try it out if it's see if it's even worth it some hacks are just not worth it right it's just better sometimes and more convenient to spend the money and have something already done instead of going through 300 steps and doing it your own but then other times you'll be like oh this wasn't so bad I already had the tools it worked out you know and maybe you would have spent a little extra money and you saved some so I feel like this was a pleasantly good hack Okay. Another thing that I like to do is I like to grab my shadow moon. You've seen me do this before, but I like to kind of bring it up here and get it from Amazon. Just a nice way to kind of keep at an angle anywhere that you're going to put in your eyeshadow. Okay. So we just kind of stay at the corners of the shadow moon lightly use a little bit more of a denser brush here just to kind of pack on that green and get it nice and vibrant oh don't you get on that eyelid all right let's go to this side oh i knew i was missing a light i said something looked up looked off there we go i don't y'all probably can't tell the difference but i was like i cannot see ahead of me it doesn't look like there's any light i have my ring light on i was missing my other little light here i have this really cute little ricky um light i got for mother's day essentially as a gift ricky light if you've ever had those they're nice it's like a small little stand up light up mirror and it's just wonderful it's got a little magnetic close-up mirror that comes with it so worth it and I do like to do another reason why I like to do my um, eyeshadow looks before I put on the foundations is because you see how I had like an imprint of where I've had my palm that can rub off on your foundation that you work so hard on even if you put setting powder on if you're scrubbing or using a lot of contact pressure there from your hand so just another good reason why you don't really necessarily need that all right let's go ahead and you know I kept this area pretty clean I'm kind of proud of myself about that like that was a nice hack right so we're gonna take our flat brush we're going to start dabbing on the gold trying to think of what color I want I'm kind of gearing towards this but I'm kind of thinking about mixing it with this one because it's got like this like champagne almost color to it okay that's where I'm going with it in case you're wondering like my method to my madness here so let's go ahead and spray the brush down let's start with jovial which is that more of a champagne color and I'm just going to start slowly packing that onto that eyelid. I do you need a close-up mirror to see what I'm doing? And having a flat brush like this is going to help just smoothly apply that. I like that that's pretty it doesn't look quite glittery but I have a little idea of what we're gonna do later for that anyways I was talking about we went to a bunch of places and you never know sometimes if that's gonna satisfy the kids or not or if they even thought that was too much and like I wish we just stayed home I feel like I did good today because all the kids were like, thank you, thank you, it was so good. And maybe some of y'all have taught your kids to always say thank you after you do stuff. Mine, not always so. And so when my kids really do say thank you, we had a good time, like I know they had a good time. And sometimes you just don't know what that's going to be. Sometimes like I think I overachieve or overplan and it's just too much on me. And the kids didn't need that much entertainment. And then the other times, it's like I underplan. So it's like finding that secret sauce of a happy medium as a parent sometimes can be hard. 
especially with younger ones that have varying interests. I'll have, I'm not even playing, just with three kids. If we ever ask them what they want when we're going out to eat, sure enough as day I'm going to get like three different responses of places that they want to go and nobody wants to compromise. Everybody wants to go to the different place. And it's not like there's not something they all want from one place. So I'm like, there ain't no way we could have had kids like six kids and done this I would have lost my mind so most of the time I have to be like okay this is where we're eating what do you want for there <laughs> I try not to give them that choice most of the time unless I'm really feeling in a good mood about that <laughs> okay um I don't know why I crack myself up so much but I do yeah I like this color compared to the gold invincible I don't think I'm gonna go quite with that yellow there so let's put a little bit of some um, glitter over the top. Kind of using a similar gold that I used with my flapper doll look. Just kind of applying a little bit more of that textured glitter so it kind of gives me a little bit more something something there see how that likes to kind of all fall so you have to kind of pack that in and make sure you have a wet brush that's the most important part aura life cosmetics from Amazon is what I use for my glitter palettes. I like them to have multiple colors. I don't want to have to just buy like one palette with like three things and that's it. I kind of got spoiled off of Unique's like multiple colors. So I had to find me something that had multiple glitter options. And goes on smoothly. It doesn't feel like sandpaper when you put it on. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, you will understand if you ever try it. <laughs> Different types of glitter on your eye. Okay, that is beautiful. I love that look. That's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take a tad bit of silver just because she's got a little bit on her eyes. A little bit of some silverness going on there. Um, it's not quite silver, but it does appear silver. I'm going to use this color called Trusting, which is in our refillable mood struck, um, pressed eyeshadows. Spraying this. This is magnetic on the back, so it's perfect. Do you hear me? If you get a magnetic, uh, palette from Unique. There's like, you can get up to 25 of them and it's amazing. I love being able to customize what colors that you get. So using just a little bit of that Trusting. Right up under the brow, I cleaned off that flat synthetic brush. It's going to just give me a nice little contrast there. I don't normally recommend putting something this stark right on top of a really dark eyeshadow like this, but this is Cleopatra's look, so we need to be trademark on this. Try the whole eyelash curler technique when putting on this shadow and tell me if it worked for you. For my budding artists out there that are trying different techniques, tell me how it worked for you. Did it help eliminate some of the stress? I am all about trying to try to help make your life easier. All right, that is nice. I love it. We're going in a good location with this. Okay. So, I still need a little bit of like a, like a gold kind of like flare there, but I'm going to wait until I do my black eyeliner. It's sort of graphic in this nature. Let's use some, I feel like spray foundation would be a great um, option. I use it a lot. I have been using the stick foundation mostly, but I feel like the spray foundation is going to be amazing for this because it's got a nice flat matte finish. And that is going to give me a more dulled down complexion and not trying to like 
contrast and be all dewy in comparison to a really nice flashy eye. Like I feel like if you're going to have a really flashy eye, you should at least make sure there's nothing trying to compete with it. I'm going to apply a little over the lips as sort of like a primer. We're going to have some dialed back lips since we're so hardcore on the eyes today. Almost out of this. Got to get me some more. This is a really nice quick on the go foundation too. So if you're ever like having to be somewhere, this is like just applies it so effortlessly with the airbrush effect and you can just go, go, go. Okay. Nice lid on. I'm going to use a little bit of some browns and maybe just to kind of perk up the face and give me a little Cleopatra snatched up right there. First, we're going to use some setting powder. And what kind of brush do I want to use today with that, Daphne? Mm, let's see what we got. I have a craving for some popcorn, y'all. They were making some popcorn at one of the... um fall festivals that we were at and I just wasn't have does anybody ever get like in what I call baby shower mode where you're like planning or like the main host or whatever of the baby shower or the birthday party and maybe y'all don't do this but I do for some reason my stomach gets into modes when it comes to that and I won't hardly eat nothing while I'm doing that it's because maybe my mind's all on the planning I don't know what it is so if there's pizza or whatever, I'm lucky if I'll even eat one piece. I feel like that's what I was like when we were doing the whole fall festival thing. I was busy, like, making sure the kids had what they needed and all that good stuff that I just wasn't like, eh, I'm going to eat a bunch of stuff. I had, like, a hot dog. I felt like that was more than enough. So I just wasn't wanting any popcorn. But they, the popcorn smells so good there. And I don't eat it a lot because it tears my stomach up a little. It's a little nauseous, but it really sounds good right now. Okay. Let's use... What do we got here? <clears throat> I'm going to use a little bit of this brown called Affable from palette number nine. And I'm going to use the... Um, contour brush for this just to kind of give myself a little bit of a strong snatched area that we're going to kind of slowly blend in in just a minute but I'm going to kind of use this brush just to kind of dial it right where I want it to be on the cheek area if you ever have wondered how to do contour a nice place to start is right here up above the ear and go down at an angle because that is going to help to cut into sort of your cheek area and give you what appears to be like a higher cheekbone. If you, uh, if it helps, you can look forward into like your phone or mirror see where those shadows are falling and kind of figure out if you need a little bit more or not based on your face shape. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit right here, even though I think the wig's probably gonna cover that area. I'm do a little bit along the sides of the nose with my leftover. Just kind of keeping that bridge narrow there. A little bit underneath the lips. Along the jawline. Okay. 
Okay. Let's blend it in just a little, shall we? We like to half beat our face with um, kabuki brushes, and you don't have to, but if you want to, you can kind of tap it like this. And that's just going to kind of soften up those places where you place that darker shade okay I'm gonna use a little bit of some like what's the word highlighter yeah that's the word some highlighter I don't really want it golden I want it mm, yeah, this color called iridescent. That's what I'm looking for. So. Mm. There we go. I need that nice little highlighter fan brush. And we're just going to kind of keep it right here. on the top of our cheekbones. It will make this look gray if it goes over that brown, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna warm it up with some blush in just a minute. Because this is a super white type um, highlighter and we wanna make sure that it's not dulling everything down. Or you can use your finger, kinda do it like that. Blush. I'm gonna use this color called Sisterly. Should be a good one. Believe. Yeah, that's a good one. And I'm just gonna kind of dab it very lightly across the cheeks. I cannot see. If you want to take your bronzer and kind of deepen up that glow for Cleopatra, because like she is very olive toned, so you got to keep that into consideration. You can definitely do that, and I'm going to use probably this one. It's called Dark. This is a nice one. This is one of our newer bronzers. Just going to deepen up just a little bit where I cut into that cheekbone with that, that dark brown. See how that gives me a nice little soft yet strong look to the face. Let's figure out what kind of pretty look we want to do for the lips. I'm thinking well to do. It's a nice kind of nude color that she's got going on for this look. 
but I kind of want like I'm thinking like a shimmer in with it just to give it like something really pretty so thought process here is that we're gonna add probably some of this highlighter I'm gonna darken it up a little bit with this brown eyeliner called Proper. That's black. We don't want that one. Oh no, never mind. I changed my mind. I'm gonna use like a more nude one. We're gonna use. That's not it. This color called Graceful. It's a new eyeliner that you can get in with the October Anniversary Steals. I'm just going to kind of apply it over the top of the lip. Just give me a little bit of some color. what other lip color let me try this color called a reverent which is a actually a liquid eyeshadow oh yeah that's perfect that's the one I want this is the champagne color I was looking for mm -hmm. it's gonna give me a little front side I want a small brush to dip this in um, 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 let's dip it, dip it, yeah, that's the perfect shade I was looking for, so we're using Reverend instead of on the eyes, I'm gonna use it on the lips, they need to put this in a lipstick, I guess I'll just buy this and use it as a lipstick from here on out. Um, let's apply a little bit of some, just a tiny smidge of legit, which is a lip gloss. It is a limited kind of thing, but I just need some to kind of give a little gloss there. All right. Eyeliner because we could not do Cleopatra without eyeliner. I don't care what you say. Okay. I don't care what you say. Alright, so let's put everything back up. Clean up as we go so I can find out where I put it. Everything that I am always looking for by the end of this look. This is pretty. I like this just as a modern look. Oh, so pretty Cleopatra got it going on. Oh, Alright, um, perfect eyeliner and we're gonna just start off by going on the inner corner just to about halfway because I normally start on the outside and work my way in um, it just gives you a smoother look but we're gonna start just from the inner corner just to kind of build up where we're starting halfway there okay and I am going to do this right along where my eyeshadow stops to the corner of my eye for her little flick, whatever that is that she's got going on there. And then she's got this V she kind of creates with the eyeliner. Not quite a V, but sort of close to it. And then we're just going to connect. To kind of square that off. You have to keep your eye open, especially if you have a um, hooded eye like I do. So that way you can figure out like how you want this to go. Next, I'm just going to go across the eye and connect it. To that little weird triangle slash pyramid that we created. 
okay? And just make sure that they both connect. Now, I notice when I apply this black over the gold, it kind of almost gives you a very light off black color. So I may go back over it with one more layer. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. Now, she needs a little swoop here. So what we're going to do is start off in the corner and just very so lightly use that dip and draw liner to create that little cat eye looking thing on the inside there. I'm going to slightly go in and just give the corner of the bottom part. If you hear something really gross, like someone sounds like they're spitting into their fur, it's my cat. It is not me. <laughs> and then just lightly, I'm gonna add a little bit there at the tail end, okay? Let's see if we can do the other side successfully. So again, starting off at an angle, going straight into the eyeliner. Coming up just a little bit, creating sort of a triangle, an inverted one, I guess you would say, or an upside down one, and connecting the very edges. Starting from the corner of the eye and doing small little strokes right close to the lash line. just to create a connecting line all the way across. And sometimes when I just lay that liner, it gets flat against the eyeliner. Uh, excuse me, lay my brush right against my eyelid. It kind of gives me like that nice pathway I need. I'm just kind of laying it on there. See, so it's not a perfect triangle because of how my eyes are, but you can always go back and kind of fix it up a little bit if you want to. All right, the corner, just connecting it to the inner part of the eye, that little flick coming back. to the bottom line, bottom lash line. Okay. Making sure that we put just a little bit on the corner, outside corner of the bottom. And let me get a little bit of one more layer just to coat this. I like this. This is cute. And I'm going to use a black pencil liner up underneath on the bottom lash line. did not mean to get that there. If you ever mess up, like <laughs> I clearly do many, many times, you can get a small little angled brush, dip it in that concealer. No surprise to me, right? How much I love my concealer. And you're just going to clean up any little small area, just like a smidge. 
thank goodness that was kind of like right on the line on the green line so that it's not too big of a deal okay fill in with some of that gold going right back in with some of that glitter and we're just gonna fill that in this little triangle slot careful not to get too many clumps because then it'll all try to come out and get all over your liner what's up buddy black liner on the bottom line and then we got to do this little curly cue because that's what she's got so baby we're gonna get it too but let's just open our mouth really wide while we concentrate <laughs> My contact just came out. Fabulous. Okay. All right. A little bit of some black liner on the bottom. Now I can, I can only see out of one eye. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastical. Oh, I can't see. Okay, and so we're just gonna come. Let's do the little curly cue first. Okay, that's the end of the curly cue, and then we're gonna go up towards the eye line. So, something like that. Maybe. <laughs> It's not quite as delicate as hers is, but we'll do the other side too. So, let's see. She's kind of got this double line right here. And another little curly cue. It's going to kind of go in like that. Something of that nature. <laughs> okay. That's almost it, guys. I'm not even playing. We're just going to put on some liner. Fix some fake lashes. And let me go put my freaking contact back in so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I'll be right back. Give me a couple minutes. There we go. I don't even know if this is... Ugh. I think I got something in my eye. Ugh. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Alright. Fake eyelashes. Check. We got this mink effect. I feel like that's perfect for this. Mink by Kiss. And let's use the 
Volumizing Mascara 4D. Moodstruck Epic. Curl the lashes. Curl the lashes. And just make sure we pump up those natural lashes using a little bit of some volumizing mascara so that way it will hopefully blend right in with our mink. Okay, that was easy enough if the rest of the process is going to work that way. I like this. This is called Eris. Eris uh, lashes. That's fancy. Fitting enough for a queen. Okay. Ugh. You know what I noticed about lash glue is it almost looks like latex after it's dried around on the outside. So it's like, ugh, makes you wonder what's all in it. Got that extra hair or something on there. All right, so we're gonna line up this lash bed real good. Lash band is what I would probably accurately call it. And we're going to let that try to dry this a little bit. Let's work on this other one. Don't forget to say hey that you're hopping on. Make sure you speckle out the video by just dropping a cactus emoji to let me know you did share it out. To be entered into the giveaway last night's tonight. I am doing a announcement of the winner tomorrow unless somebody's not sharing I'm usually pretty good about that all right there we go let's just let that dry and put my wig on that should be fun Let's see. I need a wig cap. I think it came with it. Let's see. Where's I'm going to kind of tighten up this hair here. And I believe this did come with a wig cap. Yes, it did. I didn't get a whole little like headpiece with an onk on it, but you know. This should be fine. The one that I found. Oh, it came with two wig caps. Perfect. Basically, the end of a pantyhose thing. How big do they expect your hair to be, your head to be, though? My gosh, I have such a big head. <laughs> they should have just made one big one for my big head instead of two small ones. It's going to work, though. We're going to make it work. It's creepy, but it's going to work. It's gonna work. Okay. Shake her out a little bit. Put it on. Why are you not staying on there? Jeez Louise. I'm not meant to have short hair, I can tell you that. She needs to be flipped a little bit like this little hair piece here. Mm -mm. This is why I don't have bangs. This is why Daphne does not have bangs. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to rearrange it in just a minute, but we need to get these lashes on. 
Where did, oh my God. Don't tell me that I freaking lost one of my lashes by doing all of that. I am going to be so mad at myself. <laughs> Y'all see a lash hanging in my hair? No. I can't believe you. This is what I'm talking about with lash problems. Can I get an amen? is horrible, Daphne. I don't know what I did with the other one. I cannot believe, well, I can believe it. I'm gonna turn around it's gonna be like on my back or something like a spider would be Oh, where are you? Can't believe you. find out I'm just gonna go ahead and put this other one on it's probably not even matching I don't understand what just happened well I do understand what happened but I still can't believe it I'm in denial ha huh? get it that was lame lame I'm in denial because I'm the queen of denial Okay, let's let this dry for a second. And if we find the lash, then it's great. If we don't, then, you know, at least we looked for it. I'm gonna put on a little thing on here. Right now, I feel like I look like Rizzo from Grease. <laughs> the way this is going. Um, let's use a little bit of a gold, um, lining under this black while I'm waiting for that to dry. Just do a super fine pen, I mean a uh, brush. And we're just going to wet it. And we're going to go up underneath. I bet you this dang lash is somewhere in this hair. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Just kind of framing it. Giving myself a little gold. A little gold outline there. There we go. Let's see if this lash will stay on. I don't even think it matches, but at least we're making an attempt to do something about the situation that we messed up on. I don't think this is dry yet. 
or tacky enough. About to find out. Oh, it's not too bad, right? Like, it's not bad. Okay. We need to give ourselves some bangs. I feel like what aggravates me the most is this is like a bob instead of just like the straight hair like and I've never liked I mean for those who pull it off you go girl but I have never liked just a blunt set of bangs with like flipped hair like this never has been my style. Never. Never at all. Okay. <laughs> I also don't have the face for it at this current time. Maybe back in my day, but not 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 currently. Alright, let's see if we don't tear up this headdress. I think it was called a bridal headdress, but I'm gonna use this Hopefully, as sort of an Egyptian style. Come on. Where are you tangled up at? These are really pretty. That's supposed to go around the back. Perhaps. We're about to find out. My head's so big, I don't think it's meant to do this. We're about to find out. See, like that part doesn't make sense to me, that middle part. I guess to balance it out, it's supposed to do that. I don't know. What do you think? I like that. That's pretty. That's our Cleopatra look. Really cute. I don't know how long I could keep something like this on my head, but it's very elegant. Let me know and write down below what you would think or what we should fix. And I love you guys. Don't forget to stay sharp and always be on point.